This is our third film group behind the scenes special feature for Dr. Hammer's English 143 film class for our Tar Heel Film Festival. I'm joined with Courtney and Angela and their film is going to be kind of a satirical spoof of 60 Minutes and Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis. And it's going to focus on um, social, media, social media cell phone addiction and addiction to our phones. And can you guys, Courtney and Angela, can you give me a brief like overview of like how you guys came up with that topic and what techniques you guys are going to use to film that and capture how students on campus are so like invested in technology and everything? Yeah, sure. So. Um I just kind of was walking around campus trying to brainstorm like what to do our project on and I looked around like and I just saw everyone walking around like zombies like staring at the cell phone and I was like wait this is like actually crazy to look at this and I was like it would be kind of interesting to just like film it because I feel like so many people just wouldn't even believe like if they grandparents like walking around I feel like they wouldn't think literally all all of us just walk around staring at our phones so I thought like it'd be interesting to just kind of run with that and see what we got out of it and we just kind of kind of warped into like a satire, but... No, that's, that is fantastic. Yeah, um, I think that when you look at people on their phones, a lot it looks kind of natural and, um, you know, we kind of get a sense that people are just on the internet for boredom and such, so we tried to like make light of all of that, make it sati like kind of a satire of how like, well not a satire, but just make fun of how, you know, we're constantly on our phones, um, just in response to being bored, but... Right. No, that's fantastic, especially being on a college campus where there's so much connectivity and there's so much, you know, there's so many things going around electronically, whether it be, you know, correspondence between students, between teachers and all the work that's happening. It's crazy, you know, once you put social media and all this other stuff and, you know, you put this connectivity to the web involved, how students are just, you know, can just be distracted almost, it seems, every second of every day. Um, what I wanted to ask is how did you guys, how did you guys go about filming this and, you know, do it in a satirical way or, you know, I, I'm guessing you guys are in incorporate some humor into it right so how are you guys like filming this and like getting getting you know these the shots of all these students just going around you know mindlessly on their phones and computers and such yeah we have some footage um, of some of our characters just kind of like being glued to their phones and just not being really like present um, but it's kind of just in a in a over exaggerating way so yeah, of course, yeah. we're hopeful that that'll be funny um, we're gonna use some like uh, sound effects uh, oh, yeah. throughout it and also yeah like we're gonna try to use like some news like sound effects to, to um, kind of make it seem like a parody mm -hmm. um, but yeah we're just taking like kind of silly film footage of people um, just to try to convey the effect of like we're, our commentary is kind of light we're trying to make fun more so of um, people's like internet addiction through like being kind of mindless yeah Oh, I was just gonna add on to that. Like, um, we were just kind of walking around. We saw people on their phones, and we were like, "Do you mind if we just film like your hands on your phone?" They're all like, "Yeah, sure." And like, it was easy for them because they didn't even have to stop what they were doing. So what like roadblocks have you guys run into filming and such? Like, could you guys, you know, if there's anything to make on that, you know, talk about that? So I've been working on the script. Um, it's been hard to make sure that our our comment like our commentary is delivered mm -hmm. but at the same time making sure that it is a parody and it is funny um, like um, Dr. Hammer has already talked about how it's really hard to make things funny um, so I've been struggling with that right, just right. kind of like asking for ideas thinking of how we could use like sound effects to our advantage um, and as far as like playing with film I think it might be fun to kind of make the news report a little chaotic yeah no, absolutely. Um, so I think I think the hardest thing is to make sure that it doesn't seem just like a normal news report. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, that's like I guess the hardest thing on my end. Another thing we struggled with with was originally it was not really funny. It was kind of like a note to um, social media for like mm -hmm. taking away all like these opportunities we, opportunities we could have if we weren't on our phones. So we started to film that, and then we realized like so much of our footage is just people sitting there on their phones, and we were like, oh no, this is the most boring film. So like, <laughs> we had to kind of turn it and make it like a, a joke about how much right. we're all on our phones. So um, just kind of getting past that, like, like we changed from that like sadder subject to making it fun has been a little bit. No, that's fantastic. You're making it more, I'm sure, chaotic mm -hmm. the way you guys yeah. filmed it to make it more, you know. No, that's that is awesome. So. Um, 
it's going to be, you guys have characters in this, correct? And they're going to be playing roles. Are they going to be playing like roles of students on campus? Or like, what are they going to do? And how do they fit in? I know you guys have like footage of them, you know, on their phones and everything, you know, being showcasing like the addiction in, in your film. Um, what roles are they going to play? And you guys have a like have a, have a game plan for how they're going to like arc throughout the film, or maybe change yeah. throughout the film due to their um, due to their like addiction. Yeah. So it, it mainly focuses on one student, um, James, um, and James pretty much talks about how he has overcome this internet addiction, and then also how his friend has, and how he um, uh, wishes like they spent time like they used to and such. Um, and then they go th to this like uh, through this like uncanny or they like watch this uncanny kind of commercial where it's like you smash your phones um, okay. and then at the end they're supposed to smash your phones but we don't really see if they do or not okay. so we just hope that they arc in a way that they do hang out more again and they like kind of rekindle that friendship um, and we're planning to like put some after credit scenes of them actually like eating dinner together and talking and stuff like that so hopefully that conveys that kind of character arc mm -hmm. um, but also we want to just like make sure like there is some like more like serious lines where like yeah. where where James is like yeah we used to hang out a lot as kids and stuff like that um, so we like hope that they will like kind of unglue from their phone and stuff um, but yeah we just I think the smashing of the phone is like an actual hammer <laughs> So it, that'll be kind of silly, and we're trying to make it like kind of like a co like very commercialized. Okay. Um, so yeah. We also have um, some other characters. Like I'm a newscaster, so I'm not really going to be on the scene, but I'll be like the one that introduces everything. And like over to you, Nicole. And like we have some on the awesome. scene as a newscaster. So we kind of we have a lot of different characters to get to play with, which is fun. That's awesome. And are you guys going to like do anything with like the media, like making social media or not social media, but you know tech technology, like you know kind of blowing it out of proportion with the media? Oh you yeah, know, definitely. Like, We're going to have like our newscasters even after they do like their lines, it will cut, but like it will still be rolling for everyone else to see and. Like, instantly take out our phone oh, just, that, that's like fantastic. to show it affecting yeah. everyone not even just the students. yeah not even the people yeah. pushing it across yeah it's, they're still you know it's by it. the whole the whole time it's supposed to be contrived mm -hmm. like we're all trying to detox from the internet and detox yes. from social media but we don't and we think we do and like i'm supposed to come in as an expert and then one of courtney's lines right after is like and then follow angela's social media accounts for how to detox from the internet so it's like not really it's just very contrived throughout the whole thing, and it's supposed to purposely be that way. Oh yeah, no, that's awesome. And one of the big things, you know, and, you know, being in Dr. Hammer's class, we've learned a lot about, you know, what makes a good film, and you know, not necessarily that a film, you know, has a happy ending. That you know, that it's a good film. What kind of strategies have you guys taken from Dr. Hammer's class that you've, you know, used in the film to make it, you know, make it much more real? You know, be able to tell such a good story, especially on a topic that you know definitely affects us. You know, as you know, being the generation that's you know grew up with smartphones in a way. So. Um, originally, we just we wanted to avoid cliches because mm -hmm. you know Dr. Hammer doesn't really like those. And our old script kind of started out with like this these two people who didn't like use social media and they kind of found each other because they were both the only ones like looking around. We were like, we feel like he's just gonna be like really like. Oh, so we tried to think a little deeper and just like avoid the cliches and like, just try to tell a real story. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, like as soon as. Um, as soon as like our group came up with like trying to make it more like uh, try to make it more lighthearted and funny through a parody, um, I thought that that would be a perfect way to try to grasp the audience attention more. Um, and also, there's more. There's just more. I think more opportunity to make an uh, interesting plot there, um, and also just like make sure that we have interesting characters uh, in a way that they're they're like portrayed in a in a humorous way, but also in a real way. So uh, that's fantastic. And guys, I really appreciate your time. This has been awesome. I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, as someone that's, you know, has <laughs> always on their smartphone a lot, I'm sure I'm sure we can all learn a lot from this film. So that's a wrap for our third um, English 143 Film Festival interview. Uh, guys, thank you so much for thank your time you. and really looking forward to watching it.